Hello, this is Gabby with Enders Analytics again. This week's tutorial, I thought I would go back to Google Analytics and talk about uh, two of the newest uh, report areas, um, demographics and interests. And um, they've just been added just in the last, I don't know, six months or so. And um, I finally have enough data in mine after enabling them. Um, they have to be enabled from the admin um, area um, to get data. So I'm going to go ahead first and we'll just take a look at the data. Uh, so here we have uh, demographics, and it's uh, the overview for demographics. Uh, just gives you, you know, a nice little chart of um, age in terms of uh, the type of age uh, ranges that people are when they come to visit your site, and then of course gender. And uh, this uh, data is coming to you obviously from Google. So um, anyone who's coming to your site through Google and things um, is it's. That's how uh, Google Analytics is uh, extrapolating that data. Um, and then, of course, there's uh, breakdown reports of um, age here, uh, as well as gender um, here with sort of the more raw data and looking at pages per session and bounce rate and new users, etc. And then over here we have interests and an overview. And uh, this also uh, comes in, um, obviously, from people's interest in things and basically Google um, is assigning a certain um, kind of interest from um, you know people's um, browsing patterns and that kind of thing and you can see here uh, with uh, people who come to my website that uh, my affinity category are technophiles uh, my in-market segment oddly enough are financial services and investment services um, I have to wonder how much of this is being driven by, <laughs> by my husband. Um, he recently wrote a, um, um, a guest blog post on financial analytics on my site, and so that may be driving um, some of that data right now um, as well. Um, and then there's um, like other categories um, in here, and just kind of looking at the, the kind of affinity in categories and things. Um, so that's the overview, and then we can take a look at the affinity categories over here and here's uh, you know kind of a, a raw breakdown along with uh, all of your standard uh, metrics and things um, and then we have the uh, the in market categories and then the other categories as well and to be able to enable this um, as I said you have to go into admin so let's go ahead and go into admin and you can see I'm here I'm this is this is my account this is my property this is my view and uh, basically you want to go into property settings and then you scroll down on the page here and you have display advertiser features and you want to enable your uh, demographics and interest reports um, and here it says uh, it makes you know the the in, uh, demographics and interest reports of age, gender, and interest available so that you can better understand who your users are. So this is how you uh, go ahead and enable this feature within Google Analytics. And if you're using Google Tag Manager, there is a setting there that you have to um, do as well. Um, and that's uh, so. Let's say I'm here. I'm in Google Tag Manager, and I go to my Google Analytics base code, and there's a little checkbox here: Enable Display Advertising Features. So this makes sure that your Google um, Tag Manager code um, is um, knows that this has been enabled and to pull it. So both of those need to be enabled on both ends. And if you're not using Google Tag Tag Manager, there's a Learn More link here that brings up a screenshot, and this will give you some tracking code uh, changes. Um, that you have to do on your site uh, in order to enable the uh, demographics and interest reports um, properly. Without that piece of code in there or enabling it in Google Tag Manager here, uh, those two things are, um, either one of those things are required uh, in order for things to work. Um, just turning it on here won't do it. Um, Anyway, but that's that's how you get everything to uh, to run. Once everything has been enabled properly, uh, you should, uh, within about 24 hours or so, start seeing um, some demographic data coming into your site. It might take a little bit longer because they are extrapolating um, data from various sources and things. Um, it might take up to a week. I'm not sure. Um, it did take a few days on my end, but I'm the, I'm guessing it would take um, at least 24 hours. Anytime you enable any kind of new data gathering in Google Analytics, I've noticed it takes at least 24 hours for that to start showing data um, within the reports. 
All right, well, I hope you found this tutorial useful. And uh, if you did, please give it a like, a, th a thumbs up, a like, um, and please share it. And uh, if you're not subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate a subscription. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.